I'm going to be reviewing this new Trailblazers Team 2 Kubo card, which is a little bit interesting because he recently had his Player of the Month SBC card come out. And I've used that card, and I, I know what that card's like, but I'm intrigued to see what this card is like and how it compares to the Player of the Month SBC. But, closer look at the card. At the moment, there's no real changes. Same work rate, same skill moves, same weak foot. Positions-wise, he's exactly the same. Good variety of positions as well, which is one of the main reasons I did the Player of the Month SBC. But this is where the big difference happens right now. So on his ordinary one, he doesn't have the trick star playstyle, and that's been added. And then his first touch playstyle has been upgraded to a playstyle plus, which is hopefully going to make him a ni little bit nicer uh, when he's dribbling and first receiving the ball. But when you compare these stats to the player of the month, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. So face stat wise. This card has got plus one on the shooting and dribbling, but minus one on the defending and physicality in comparison to that player of the month. But another thing that isn't actually shown is the passing stat is exactly the same on the face stat. But when you look at the actual stats itself, this card has higher crossing, free kick accuracy, short passing and curve. But personally, I think when you have an attacking card, having the fact that this is a slightly better in terms of shooting, passing, and dribbling is actually better. And I don't mind the trade-off with the defending and physicality. But let's check out the team that I'm using him in. So we've got the Prem La Liga hybrid. Two Japanese players on both wings. Normally play Kubo at Cam, but I'm, I'm going to try it a little bit different and play him at right wing. Right, come on then, Kubo. What are you doing? Go on then. Nice. Ah, oh, lovely first touch to get straight past that defender. Oh, is he going to rage quit at 1-0? He's rage quit at 1-0. Fine, we'll go into another game. Kubo's already got one goal. Oh, he sailed off the defender with that first touch. Although, we did just give the ball away with a sloppy pass. Ah, oh, that that first touch is great for getting past the first person. Then I just got to try and beat the second part person afterwards. Nice. Straightforward pass. We're going to go for the sweat. Got to go for the sweat in this opportunity. But Cooper plays his little part in that attack. Nice. Come on. Around the, go the goalkeeper. That was a dreadful finesse shot. And I've had to change my formation as well. Right, Kubo is now playing Cam. We've had to change the formation. Let's see what he can do from here. Nice little pass, Tello. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, there's an assist for Kubo. Go on. Nice over the top. Pass it for the sweat. And Sabozalai completely misses, and even though that's technically not who I wanted the pass to go to. Gone into another game, and this time we're going to play in the 4 triple 2 from the beginning. And hopefully we don't have any catastrophic failures right now. We're, we're trying him up Cam as well, so I'm playing him in the formation and the position. That's what I'm most familiar with. Okay, well, I need Kubo to make a run. Come on. Yes, nice. Pass. Sweet! Okay, there's an assist again for Kubo. So that's what, two goals, two assists now across the three games? And he's just got a tidy little interception there. Right, we want to see first time touches as well. Oh. Okay, there we go. Now we're in my favoured 4 triple 2 from the start. And making sure that we have all the right player instructions and tactics and everything. Rather than having to make it up halfway through the game. Go on, nice breaded pass. Sabozala, you should have put that into the back of the net. Well, we just scored from a corner, and it looks like that's going to be a rage quit. We'll go into another game. Come 
on. Nice. Get between. Do a finesse. Round the goalkeeper. Thank you very much. Another goal for Kubo. I see him. Using. Ah, finally. He used that first touch again. What is he doing with his goalkeeper? Right, we want him to use the first touch. But we use a bit of that dribbling. D didn't really get that nice uh, goal again. Come on, we're getting close. We're getting close to goal number two. Oh, come on! Yes, Bellerin! Is that an assist for Kubo as well, I'm pretty sure? Is that going to be another rage quit? I think now that I've got my preferred formation, I know exactly what I think of this card. There it is, the rage quit. Okay, he didn't get the assist for the Bellerin goal. However, you know, he did get a few assists across the four games plus some goals. Definitely never go away from trusty formation. Four triple twos might be my go-to formation since FIFA 19. And I'm, I'm glad I changed it and went with this formation for the second games as soon as it happened. Everything clicked into place and it's exactly what I expected from this card. From using the player of the month, I think this is definitely the next step. And that playstyle plus definitely helps to elevate that card to the next level and make him even better. Honestly, if you've got the player of the month as a card, I reckon it is worth trying to get hold of this card and having an upgrade. And at the moment, it's not too expensive if you just want to buy him off the market. And the good thing is... You could potentially put that player of the month one into an SPC. And then if you're buying this one off the market, once you're done with it, at least then you can sell it and upgrade it. But honestly, if you also do want to use him, I think Cam is the best place to place him. Because then you can utilize that pace a little bit more. I think that was the whole mistake I made with going full free free. Wide players, they, they seem like they'll be like all able to get into the action and stuff like that. But they tend to stay out wide and rarely often come in, even with the player instructions. And it's a bit hard to get them in the action. Whereas Nut Cam, he'll be the forefront of the action and supply the goals and assists. But that is going to be it for this player review. Thank you for watching and catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.